Make sure you guys check out my boy King Sounds, new hip hop and rap album, King Talk, available on all digital platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, the whole nine. The link will be in the description and I'll post it in the comment section. Check it out. All right, Rex Ryan, this morning don't get on, get up on ESPN. I'm about to say, get on up like James Brown. But he's, you know, went in on Amari Cooper, man, and, you know, some people trying to make it a racial thing. Now, had he went in on Dak Prescott and said that, uh, and, and said Tony Romo deserved it when Dak didn't, then we could talk about it being racial. Everything that he said was factual. He just, you know, was a little bit too hardcore for some people to, uh, you know, really stomach what he said. And you got to remember, he said the same thing about Teddy Bridgewater. He wasn't that good and uh, he didn't like him. And, you know, why didn't they put Jason Tatum in and all that, whatever to do, Taysom Hill, excuse me, in New Orleans. So let's talk a little bit about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out our NFL playlist. Appreciate the love, support, NFL talk. That's what it's called. But, uh, I agree with Rex Ryan. Mari Cooper is just not that good. I liked him in college. And this ain't no Alabama thing. I like Julio. I like Derrick Henry. You know what I'm saying? I like uh, uh, Tua Tua. I like him. You know, Nick Saban. He cool. But, you know, Amari Cooper just not that good. Tell me where he lied at. Some people getting sensitive over what he said about Amari Cooper. He is a turd. He is a quitter. He don't show up on the road. He is inconsistent. They should have paid Dak Prescott and just drafted a receiver. They didn't have to pay Amari Cooper $100 million. And I said, and I said it again, bro. Amari Cooper is not one of the 10 best receivers in football, bro. And people just don't understand that, dog. People say, you fight me last year. I said, where? And he was balling last year. Oh, CJ, I thought he, Cowboy, I thought he wasn't top 10. Then when he fell off and he started disappearing on the road and shit. Man, he, I think he disappeared versus the Detroit Lions I was watching. We had like a backup quarterback in. You know what I'm saying? He don't show up versus top corners. He quit. And, you know, people forget about Randy Moss. He was going through that shit. And if you took Randy Moss out the game, Randy Moss will quit. But people don't want to bring that up about Randy Moss. All right? I watched football back then. If you was able to jam Randy Moss and take over the top away from Randy Moss, you know, early in the game, you had to worry about Randy Moss for the rest of the three quarters. And that's the God honest truth. But with Cooper, he ain't that good. He got a lot of physical talent. You know, he fast. He can run the route tree. You know, he ain't, he don't always catch the ball with his hands, but it's cool. He got, he catch it. But a lot of times he quit, took himself out the game, quit versus the Eagles down the stretch, you know, on the road, he was nowhere to be found. So where's Rex Ryan lying at? You know what I'm saying? Where is he lying at? Oh, he's, he's hating on him because he black. Well, Rex Ryan has never been accused of being a racist, even though I just assumed that, uh, all white people are racist to begin with. And that's just my opinion. Most white people assume that all fucking black people are thugs. Hey, it's just my perspective until you prove me different. But Rex Ryan, a lot of black people love Rex Ryan. Bart Scott, that play, that, I'm talking about the players that played for him. He just kept it 100, man. Like, I take Keenan Allen over Cooper, uh, Julio, A.B., DeAndre Hopkins was that like three or four. Uh, uh, Mike Evans, I take Chris Godwin, OBJ. I take Tyreek Hill over him, bro. And I just, guys, I'm going off the top of my head with. You know, who else you got out there? I said Julio. I take Devontae Adams over him. I take Stefan Diggs over him. Um, who else we got out there? Um, I wouldn't say Juju. Juju, he ain't proved nothing without a uh, old boy. I take Juice over him. Juice Landry over him. When, when everything rolling right with him. You know, it's a lot of different guys that, that I would I would take over him, man. And that's just my humble opinion, bro. I like Allen Robinson over him. He just don't have no quarterback. Not just because he's from Detroit, but shout out to my D-boy. You know, I take him. I take Kenny Galladay over over Amari Cooper as well, too. It's a lot of guys I take over him. He's probably top 15. You know, but, hey, that's just my humble opinion. I like Cooper Cup over him. Robert Woods is, is damn near on this level. You know, so, you know, people, people will get mad, you know, for speaking the truth because the Cowboy, you know, fan base is so sensitive. But y'all was saying the same shit about him last year when he was disappearing. You telling me he worth a hundred million dollars. He not better than Mike Thomas. He not worth no hundred million dollars. They overpaid, especially in the deep wide receiver uh, group class where you could go out there and, and find somebody. You could have signed Robbie Anderson and still probably got the same results that you got. Even better results on the road 
than Amari Cooper. You could have signed Anderson and brought a rookie in like the kid from uh, LSU. You know? You could have got another receiver. Could have took a Jerry Judy and paired him up with Robbie Anderson. You know, but, hey, this is what they tend to do, but people just sensitive about it. Cooper ain't that good. Same re- same how, how Cowboy fans get mad at Tony Romo and slander and throw his name in the mud like he had that shootout with Peyton Manning in the, uh, in the regular season when he was with Denver. I remember watching that game. I said, oh, Tony Romo got in the bag. Very next play, he threw a pick and fucked up. They had destroyed Tony Romo. Well, when somebody said something about Romo, oh, y'all quarterback a bum. Y'all quarterback can't win the big one. Oh, Romo better than this guy. And, oh, Romo just don't have the defense and the help. That's just the point about the fan base. That's why it's called fans. Because fans don't see shit with clarity. You can put a whole bunch of bums on the team, and the fans going to be optimistic thinking they're going to win something, knowing they're not. That's the difference when you can look at it from clarity and when you can look at it from a fan. Amari Cooper, not that good. People getting in, they feel, oh, fuck you, yeah, Rex Ryan, man. What? He flaked out in the NFL and this, that, and the third. Hey, <laughs> he, uh, Cooper, why they get rid of him with the Raiders? He quit. You know what I'm saying? He was dropping balls. He was inconsistent. Let me say that. Inconsistent. If you can put consistency with Amari Cooper, Cooper probably be one of the top three or four best receivers in the league. But he not. He not consistent. He soft. You know what I'm saying? There was no reason to pay him that amount of money. If the Redskins was going to pay him that money, let him walk. You could have took the money, got Robbie Anderson, and you could have got the same fucking effect. Now, Anderson may not be the route runner Cooper is, but athlete. Can catch the ball. He just been held back by sorry-ass Sam Darnold with the Jets. Could have drafted another receiver and just moved on. You don't pay receivers that type of money. You don't. You know, you look at the Super Bowl last year. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the 49ers, who, who they had? Debo Samuels, washed up Emmanuel Sanders, had a good tight end in George Kittles. But that's it. They didn't have no star receiver. Patriots the year before last. Who was that star receiver? Edelman ain't no star. He just a good system player. The year before that, I think the Eagles won it. You know what I'm saying? Alshon Jeffries, he a good receiver, but he ain't no star. Nelson Aguilar really ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you don't need no no hundred million dollar receiver to be successful. They could have took that money, paid Dak Prescott. Do you lie about that? They should have paid Dak. You know what I'm saying? You pay this new dude that came here in Cooper. You pay him all this money and how Dak posed the field. Come on, you should have took that money, paid Dak, signed like a dude like Robbie Anderson, draft another receiver, maybe Judy or C D Lamb, I guarantee you would have been a better team. And you probably would have had more money left over. To, to replace Travis Frederick. You know what I'm telling you? The Cowboys don't know how to build no team. They should have traded Ezekiel Elliott too. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and found another running back. And just paid Dak. You know what I'm saying? Your running backs are a dime a dozen. You know? Because, the, I mean, I'm not saying that Z, they shouldn't have kept Z. I'm just saying that, you know, y'all ran Zeke into the ground. Just like y'all did DeMarco Murray. And Zeke habits off the field is going to hurt him. So they should have been having replacements for these guys. This is the difference between the Patriots and, and the guys like the Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? The Cowboys spend where they don't need to spend at. They don't have a farm system or they don't have a scouts to really replace and replenish guys. You know, you can find a guy like Amari Cooper in the draft. They just couldn't find him. I mean, it's, it's receivers in all in all in, in every round, damn near. We got Kenny Gallagher in Detroit for the four, fourth round draft pick. This year they could have took C D Lamb. Jerry Judy, they could have waited, took the kid from LSU in the second round. It's talent everywhere. You know, last year they should have drafted another receiver, developmental receiver, just in case this Cooper thing. Cooper didn't deserve that money, and Rex Ryan wasn't wrong. I'm not going to, I'm not going to miss no words. Cooper is a fucking inconsistent bum. And when he, when he owned, he wanted the best. But what's the, what's the goal for the Cowboys and Jerry Jones before he croaked? It's to win the Super Bowl. So do you trust? That Amari Cooper going to show up in the Super Bowl? Do you trust that he going to show up in the playoff game? If y'all got to go to Lambeau in the cold, or y'all got to go to Seattle, or y'all at home? No. You would trust a crackhead around some kilos before you trust Amari Cooper, you know, in an important game. But that's just my opinion. 
Goodfellas Sports TV. Check our NFL Talk playlist. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to me there if you got a question, inquiry, sponsorship, business, you know, inquiry, or you just want to chop it up and have a convo. Check out our NFL Talk playlist for more videos like this. Want to make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Goodfellas Sports TV. We gone.